What's going on fish keepers? George from SFA Cichlids here. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. On today's video I'm going to be showing you the correct way to add fish into your new tank. So when you come back from the fish store with that big bag of water do you just flip it straight into your tank with the fish? Do you have to float the bag? Do you just catch the fish with your hands and put them in there? Well today I'm going to be showing you the correct way to do that as well as give you some tips on how to add smaller fish into your community of bigger fish. So stay tuned. So when you come back from the store and you're ready to add the fish into your tank, you're gonna need two things. First of all, is a nice net. This is probably a four inch or a six inch by eight inch net. Something that will fit nice in this next device. The other high tech device that you will absolutely need is a five gallon bucket. So what you end up doing is you have your bag of fish. The first thing you want to do is you want to float that bag in your water. So what happens when you float the bag in your water while it's closed is that the temperature from your tank and the water that's in that bag will get to the same temperature so there's no chance of you shocking your fish when you introduce it to your tank. So usually you could float the bag for 10 or 15 minutes and I feel that that's enough for me. Then you want to get your net. You just put it over the top of the bucket just like so and you obviously it's gonna be flat so you just want to lay it down flat there and what you do is you get the bag you cut the top and then you just pour all the contents of your bag into your net the water is gonna go into the bucket but the fish will stay right where the net is so after that happens all you simply have to do is get your net which has fish in it and dump it into your aquarium. I will be showing you an example of this right now. This is by far the best way to do it. The reason why you don't want that water that's in your bag inside your tank is because all the while your fish was in that bag, it's been creating a lot of ammonia. So you don't want that ammonia water inside your tank and just in case that water that you got it from had something in it, you want minimal amount of that into your tank. So really the only type of water that will be going into your tank is any of the water that would have been in your net or any of it that's still on the slime coat of your fish, which I've never really had a problem with if we're being honest. And so yeah, it's, it's very simple. I always recommend this to all the customers that get fish off of me. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was adding smaller fish into your big fish tank. If you guys know, a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I just got some new fish in from Cichlid Lovers. I did an unboxing. And what ended up happening is that the fish were supposed to be three to four inches, and I guess they were, but they seemed a little smaller. Maybe the fish in my 120 gallon tank were much bigger, but uh, I have fish in the 120 gallon tank that are like eight inches long, and some of these fish were like this. And I got really worried about putting them in, but I know a couple tricks up my sleeves, obviously. So, first thing to do when you're trying to add smaller fish into a big, aggressive fish tank, you're gonna want to feed them very heavily. The fish that are already in your tank. Feed them heavily, that's the first thing you want to do, make sure they're not hungry. Next thing you want to do is turn the lights of the tank off. After that, you want to introduce the, the smaller fish one by one in the corner of the tank, somewhere where they could get into cover. Now if your tank is completely bare bottom and you do not have any cover, it's going to be a lot tougher for those small fish to make it. Why? because they will get picked on, they will get stressed out, and there's a chance they won't make it. But if you do have rocks, you do have um, some structures that break the line of sight from the dominant fish and the smaller ones, the most likely they will be just fine. Um, so number two is turning off the lights, adding them in in the corner of the tank, kind of away from your, you know, your, your most dominant fish or the nastiest fish you have. And number three is to put a towel completely around the three front sides of the tank. You put towels to block out any light and that's going to help the fish get established into their home a lot better. 
and it's gonna give them you know some comfort they won't have to be running away all the time because usually when the fish lights turn off the fish already know that it's time to sleep so they calm down and since they already ate they won't be going crazy and then that's all you really have to do the next day you check up on them make sure they're okay and then I would say you do that for probably like two days if so and then that's it third day just go back to normal but just make sure you're feeding pretty heavily so that the aggression is not too strong also in African cichlid tanks the higher your temperature usually the higher the aggression is so if your temperature is like at 81 or 82 which I don't know why it would be for your display tank or something like that. For grow outs, it is understandable because they grow faster. But for your big tank, usually you want to have your temperature around 78 degrees. And usually 78 degrees, they tend to be a little aggressive, but not too much. So I hope these tips really did help you. I did a couple new videos here recently uh, with the fish room included. So I have part one and part two and part one we go over the tanks in my girlfriend's house and she has the 120 gallon display tank, the Coview tank, a grow out tank and then in part two, which is when I got this new camera that you're seeing, we come over to my house, we see some legendary footage of my ruby red group, Obies, the pond, the ruby red grow out and my yellow lab tank. So be sure to watch those if you already haven't, consider subscribing. And if you think this video is going to help everyone, please give it a big thumbs up so it can get out there. And until next time, thank you guys for watching.